And I'm Dylan Black. Hello, a personal chef service for the holidays or New Year. Sounds like a good idea to talk about that and all the uh, possibilities with the Black Shallot Event Services. It's Monique Vermeulen. How are you? I'm well, thank you for having me. It's good to have you here. Uh, we're going to be cooking up some tasty treats here in seconds. Yes. Can you tell us about the Black Shallot? How long? You haven't been around very long at this point. No, nope, relaunched um, in uh, July of this year and it's been it's been quite good. We're yeah. focusing on uh, our personal chef services now that you know, the holidays are kind of out of the way. Mm -hmm. So so what exactly does the Black Shallot do? Uh, we are primarily personal chef service. So we plan your menu based on a client profile. So you would complete it at home or in person. And it outlines all of your preferences, allergies, sensitivities, needs, restrictions. And we plan a menu based on that. And okay. come to your home, cook, clean, package, clean too. label. Wow. Yep, it's all done. You don't do bathrooms though, right? We don't. But not, the, not the usually. Prices, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, fair enough. So why did you decide to create this company, this business? Um, I actually had done this for about seven or eight years, uh, about a decade ago. Mm -hmm. uh, life's twists and turns kind of pulled me away from it, so I wanted to get back to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and your whole primary focus is you want to save cash for people who are pretty busy or, or maybe they're cash strapped. Absolutely. Um, and I think one of the biggest myths about having a personal chef is the fact that there's this myth behind it, that it's expensive and it's, you know, a luxury, but it doesn't have to be like that. Um, our express service, for instance, starts at 11.05 a portion and most of our traditions packages are about $15 a serving. So, you know, a takeout restaurant, you're spending oh, close sure. to that anyway. Yeah. It's pretty cool to have a personal chef, yep. I would say. Like, it sounds pretty pretty hoity-toity you know like it, it does. sounds and but, but especially when it's it's affordable like that that's, yeah. that's awesome yeah. very cool so so how do you keep the costs so low um I think it's the volume honestly that's that's a good question um yeah. you know there, there's there's a professional fee associated with it but um it, it's real food so it doesn't have to be anything exorbitant or extravagant okay uh, tell us about your a la carte service so first of all what does a la carte mean so um, our traditional personal chef services are just what I explained. Um, I have discovered a need in a lot of clients who are just wanting, um, you know, come to my house, I've done groceries, they're left out on the counter in the fridge for you, and it's kind of like a fun freestyle day for, for me. Um, so again, based on their profile, I have kind of uh, a pretty good sense of what I can and can't play with. and, and I cook and have fun. That's fun. Yeah. So, so, so you would come to the person's home and you'd hang out there all day, you know, maybe watch their pay-per-views, that kind of stuff. <laughs> now you wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> no. No. But, but I mean, you, you must meet a lot, a lot of neat people. To, to, oh, to absolutely. It's, it's, it's the best part of this. It's the people you meet, right? And you get to know them. You're, you're in their home. So you're, it's, it's a really kind of intimate, personal relationship that you form. Okay, well let's let's uh, also delve into what you want, want to make here today before we, we okay. do run out of time. I know there's lots more to get to, but what exactly are you making? So uh, I prepared, I, I kind of struggled with what I wanted to prepare because a personal chef creates so many items, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show something that was flexible and versatile. So this is a black bean. Actually, I did white beans because it's what I had. Okay. Uh, traditionally, I do this with a, with a black bean. So it's a sweet potato uh, bean burrito. Um, easy for the grab and go kind of busy folk who want to just take something and go, mm -hmm. but it can also kind of be fancied up for, for dinner. So do you want to actually assemble the pico before we yes, start? Yes, if I knew what that was, I would assemble so, it for you. Funny story. Uh, pico yeah. de gallo is a Spanish Mexican, um, style, uh, relish. So it's super simple and it actually means loosely translated rooster's beak. So rooster's beak. Rooster's beak. So, so we're up some rooster's beak here. It, pretty much. Okay. So it's basically, I've got some, um, chopped those are Roma and uh, beef steak tomatoes yeah. with a little bit of oil, olive oil. So we can okay. dump basically everything By into the bowl. Dumping it all in. Yep. You can right. stir around. Uh, onions. Uh, yep. Finely diced white onion. That's about a medium one. Okay. Uh, about half of that cilantro that's chopped. All right. Good Perfect. Half. And there's olive oil in those tomatoes already. And if you want to zest this lime, then we'll juice it. Zest and this lime. So what am I like? I'm taking off the. Yeah. Is it? Okay. I've watched you. you. You have some stuff <laughs> in the kitchen. Okay. Why am I having trouble with it then? Okay. Here we go. Going the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. You, it's it's basically a rasp. So you're just basically wanting to get the colored part off. Yeah. I'll how, just. How much uh, of this slime am I doing? That's that's actually fine. Yeah. So we'll cut <laughs> it. You tell I was struggling. Couldn't and you? squeeze it. Okay. So if you wanna. Mince in some garlic there. Mincing in some garlic. Yeah, so that's the pico that's going to top these. Um, that. Pico is a really uh, fun, easy, flavorful, healthy 
um, condiment to use. Okay. And on any kind of any kind of Mexican inspired dish, it's super awesome. healthy. Super healthy. Yeah. Uh, antioxidants. You know, all the nutrients that you, you're going to want are there. Okay. So. What would you add this to then? Um, it's like a salsa, honestly, Dylan. So any. Uh, tacos, uh, burritos, nachos, they're awesome on nachos actually. My boyfriend okay. makes amazing nachos with yeah. that pico. So we'll wrap a couple of burritos and just show you kind of the idea here. So like I was saying, this is, um, it's one of the most versatile dishes I could think of and it's on our express menu already as is, kind of on our static menu. Okay. Um, at this point it's vegetarian. It could be completely vegan minus the yogurt. Mm. So you want to put in some filling, wrap, squeeze and roll. Oh, nice. Okay. So we would assemble these. Um, for clients, I'll often leave them just like that because like I said, they like to kind of grab and go. Yeah. If you want, fancy it up. I do it at home. Uh, top with a little bit of cheese under the broiler and your pico on the side. Okay. So I would just put the pico on the side then. Yeah. To make it all like pretty or what? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I brought, um, perfect. So we're going to imagine that this has been crisped up. Did you know that there's a new show coming to Rogers called Pico on the Side? It'll, in, uh, it'll air on Mondays at 7. I'm joking. That's Pico on the Side. I figured. Yeah. Funny stuff, right? So, okay. Um, <laughs> how, how long in advance uh, do, do, should they uh, reach you if, if, if they're looking for you to come to the Rogers? Anytime. I, yeah. uh, th that's what I do. Um, there's no waiting list, obviously. We're, we're, just, we're just getting started, so uh, call us. We, uh, we're, we're hungry to feed our hungry people That's and amazing. you know it's it's singles and couples and families that are just struggling to mm -hmm. balance their lives. Blackshallot.ca is the place to go to. I appreciate this. Uh, I know we've run out of time. We have That's so much okay. more to talk about but uh, I wish you the best of the holiday thank season you. and of course hopefully that things will get super busy for you in 2018. Thank you so much. Monique thank you very much as well. Thanks. Coming up Marcy McGrath and friends will be here from the Value Village to talk about ugly Christmas sweaters.